Well, welcome back everyone. What an exciting day in markets today. The S&P 500 in the pre-market uh, holding above the uh, closing area from yesterday. You're looking at the S&P through the lens of the futures here. Uh, same thing as the SPY, just got a little bit more trading uh, time on it. And what we saw at 8.30 this morning from that cooler print uh, on the CPI was a big pop up in the market. Uh, it took the S&P E-minis up towards that uh, 4180-ish area. And, and then of course, uh, as we saw, you know, very viscerally, the market started to sell down throughout the day. Now, what you're looking at on the screen is a daily candlestick chart for the S&P E-minis. And you can see that price action had come down into the channel. There was a TRP sell signal. That's the cyan dot that I'm holding on to right over there. And that sell signal had some targets to the lower side. And, and of course, we know we're in an uptrend. So when you get a sell target in an uptrend, if we're able to break it and close above there, there's a better chance for up. So it really is the buy signals that are more important from uh, the TRP signaling uh, toolkit uh, that gives us some fairly clear targets over here, a target one, a midline target, a target two. Uh, and of course, has a subchart tool that gives us an idea of is it at the beginning of the move or are we already long in the tooth? So when we're starting with TRP signals coming from under the channel as the channel sloping down starts to flatten out, you get a TRP buy signal uh, underneath the channel and then prices rise through the channel. Well, that's a area where you can see the TRP crossover lines are coming from the bottom of their channel and the move is just beginning effectively. Buy signals in an uptrend with the TRP crossover lines in the upper quadrant of its channel, still very strong. Now at this stage, what we've got is a mixed position with a market that paved the path to a higher move um, and a move that could create trend continuation up, but backed off enough today to warrant risk aversion until we get through Powell at 2 p.m. tomorrow. Now, the, the base case that we're sitting in right now with prices in and around the 4055 area for the ES, the S&P E-minis, and uh, concurrently for the SPY holding at around 402, just around uh, the 40190-ish area, the base case continues to support a little bit of a push up. But we don't have a TRP buy signal that we're working off of. You know, the, the last signal, was overturned as it came you know, in an area where the move was already getting exhausted and we were moving into event risk. So as we move through tomorrow afternoon, what I wanna do for members in the active trader room and for wealth charters alike uh, is uh, identify using this toolkit a way to support up, up and away or down and, and the move is broken. Now we'll be looking for the cyan dot on the daily chart and of course in time frames underneath that. And we'll be looking for whether or not the price is able to hold above or below the channel. Uh, below the channel with a sell signal in place already would imply we are then more likely to unravel the move and start making a, um, a more significant move down. Now at this stage, the jury's out until we hear from Powell at 2 p.m. And you know the consensus from my expectations would be he's not gonna come out and say something likely that um, is, is very dovish or you know significantly less hawkish. Uh, inflation is still blazing hot, even though it came in slightly under the consensus estimate. And the fact that we sold down after making those highs in the pre-market um, is somewhat evidence of folks wanting to let go of uh, uh, a few of their positions that remaining before the year is out. Uh, and uh, that could be you know, attributed to areas that are on the fringes, higher risk, smaller areas like uh, uh, those contained in small caps, but it can also be attributed to big stocks like Tesla and of course big stocks that are you know, part of the Fang gang, uh, which closed well below their highs. Now, the, the signaling power of the TRP toolkit and the targeting mechanism in conjunction with the MSR indicators and the subcharts, a powerful combo to help traders that are in a, a situation where they may be uh, paralyzed by volatility in the market uh, or just not uh, able to make the move. They're overly cautious uh, and not able to take the signal. Now, tomorrow at 10 a.m. Eastern time, Rob is going to actually be doing a session focusing on insights similar to what I provided and many, many more that he's used to win his 30 
trading competitions, real money on-site competitions, domestic and international. Only person in the world has done that. And he's come up with strategies and tools around the toolkit that you just saw me use and others that he's going to be sharing with you tomorrow to help traders that are overly cautious move towards uh, you know, being able to get out of that paralyzed state into perhaps calculated trades that have a higher probability, and then, of course, the path to becoming a confident trader. It's a do-not-miss session, last one of the year from what I understand so far, um, and it's happening tomorrow at 10 a.m. Eastern Time. That is Wednesday, December the 14th, 10 a.m. Eastern Time, 7 a.m. Pacific Time. Simply go to becomebettertrader.com forward slash go or click the link in your email with this video and get your seat. Looking forward to seeing you there. Have an incredible rest of your day. Bye for now.